guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing good. We are back with some more fashion. And today we're back with Tesco. If you are on TikTok or anything like that, then you'll just see Tesco are bringing the goods. Obviously I'm not in the market for a lot of clothing pieces at the moment. Hi, if you know, I'm Lauren, welcome to the channel. I am five foot, 10 and a half, and currently pregnant. 27 weeks actually when you're watching this. So at the moment I'm in the, what's the word I'm in the? need for i'm in the need for stretchy comfy loose but i have seen a couple of people talk about like dresses and things from tesco so i thought let me go in i love the clothes in tesco they've got some really nice tailoring pieces they've got some really nice cohorts not working for me right now but you guys should get yourself down there i always say don't sleep on the supermarkets because honestly they come through and there's always deals on this time I didn't save myself any money, but if you've got a club card, always check. And I did pick up a couple of bits of baby girl as well. So if you do like this kind of videos, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe down there if you're not already, and let's get straight on into it. So like I said, dresses, anything comfortable. Right now, we've grown. We've grown a lot in the past maybe three or four weeks, and anything that I owned does not fit, basically, except leggings and anything that sits under the bump saw this thought it was really nice and this material is really really soft so it's just a striped dress t-shirt dress i picked up in a 12 just because it looked like really big as it was and i didn't want it to be like super oversized to the point where i could just be very fat you know what i mean which maybe i am just fat you know there's no problem with that but i wanted it to be a bit more like you can see the bump and it's cute i really want to show off my bump as much as possible I know I'm speaking about it a lot in a, like my recent videos, but that is my life right now. I'm pregnant and I'm super excited and happy about it. So I want to show it off as much as I can before it's going to be gone soon. So this was 19.50, and again, so easy to throw on with trainers or sandals. But honestly, if you go in the store, just feel that because it is so, so soft. So I'm hoping that fits nicely and I didn't make a mistake getting the 12 okay here is the dress i feel like the size decision decision was absolutely fine loads of space up here i mean you know i'm not big up here anyway i'm big down here really nice so so soft really really soft so much space as well to grow which is perfect obviously and then here is the bottom so it goes up to like the calf on me because obviously i'm tall and it does actually have like these two slits on the side which oh wait no just one side just one slit on one side so yeah really nice and soft i would advise wearing nude or white underwear i do have black on there and it, we are a little bit see-through um is the only thing one sec i've got a mirror behind there not horrendously but you can definitely see something there but if you are pregnant or you just want to be comfortable this is really really nice i don't feel restricted i feel like i've still got space and if you are in between sizes i would say size down honestly but it's gonna be a nice maxi as well like even longer on you smaller girls but i just feel comfy i'd be happy to go out on this i'd feel comfortable I won't feel like I need to be messing with it. Yay, okay, great start. And then I also picked up this dress. So I don't know if you guys follow her, but Mia Wotton on YouTube, she's also on TikTok. She swore by this dress. So she bought one, I think it was either a strappy one or a long sleeve. This is just the short sleeve. Again, really nice and soft. It's like that slinky, I don't know if you can tell. It's like that slinky material which is going to be hopefully very flattering and secondly super super comfortable so again this one's more of like a bodycon than the stripe one i think the stripe's a little bit more straight whereas this i feel is gonna hug the body a bit more super long maxi so we'll see how it fits on a tall girl like me and again it was 1950 i got it in a medium because it was so stretchy I didn't want to go too big because their medium is a 12 to 14 and then their large is a 16 to 18. So I didn't think I needed that. So I thought we'll go for the medium. Hopefully this is nice. Again, so easy just to throw on because you can dress it up and dress it down. 
just throw it on with sandals, throw it on with trainers. If you're going out, throw it on with heels if you want. Don't do heels really anyway, me. But they also had this in like a strappy version, but they didn't have my size. So if I like the fit of this, then I'm definitely going to go back and just get that square neck strappy one. Because I think one, a square neck is really flattering and you can't go wrong with no sleeves when it's coming up to summer. So let's try that on. This is so flattering. And when I say this is so silky, it feels delightful on. If they're like a trouser and a top in this, that would be nice. But again, sizing on the top, I did get a medium, which is, it is to you, but not in like an uncomfortable way. If you know what I mean, it's not like tight, it's just nicely fitted to the body. Again, the top is really nice, very plain. And it's that, oh, wait one sec. Oh, we've got a double layer. Sorry, I was wondering what that ruching is. So you could probably do a no bra moment if you wanted to. Okay, thank you, Tesco. Sorry, I didn't realize that a second ago when I put it on. Um, really, really nice and sleek. Baby girl looks super, super cute. There's definitely room as well, I think, for it to grow. And oh, we see through, one sec, let me look in my mirror. Not see through, but because it is tight, probably wear no VPL if you want it or you don't have to. But look at that, exactly what we wanted. And then if I just pan you down, you can see the length on me. Again, it's like mid calf on me. Not restrictive to walk or anything though, you can still walk fine, you know. Sometimes they're so tight on the bottom, you're like, but not with this. Really, really like this a lot. I think they have this in green as well. It was quite a, like a light green. I then found some trousers. So initially I only went in for the dresses, but then I saw a few other bits and I was like, do you know what, let's do a haul because Again, none of my trousers fit me right now. And then I saw these. So they're like a really dark, like charcoal-y gray color. Mm. I picked them up in a large, which I just said was 16 to 18. And I'm gonna be wearing them under the bump, but I do like things loose, so I'm sure we'll be fine. They've got a drawstring and a really nice thick waistband. And then they just float down into like a straight to wide leg trouser really nice and soft really nice and light as well as you can probably tell by that perfect for this time of year these were 16 pound and i'm hoping to wear them under the bump the length is going to be fine because they feel like they would be lovely on <sighs> tesco me and you're gonna have some problems i swear to god are these one of the comfiest things I've put on my body? Yes. Do they fit me? No. No, they don't. What size do they get? Large. I got a large. No, when I say they don't fit, right? That's me being quite mean. This is fine. This is fine. We've got loads of space. No problem. Fine. Really nice and soft. In fact, do you know what? The trouser itself, the leg, fine, comfortable. Why are they still swinging at the ankle? I've got them literally on my groin and they're swinging at the ankle. I don't need it. The rest of the trouser, I was a bit harsh at the start. The rest of the trouser I actually like. Really nice and soft, really nice and floaty. Super, super comfortable. I mean, I'm really giving it vibes with the white sock, but come on. I know there's people smaller than me in the world, but Jesus, I'm not the only tall person and I've, Got them low waisted for God's sakes. They don't fit how I wanted. I'm really sad about it because they're very, very soft and they would be really nice and lovely to wear on a day to day, but it's just, it's just not working. I'm not happy about it. This one really was giving Zara dupe, which a lot of the stuff in there right now, there was like a bandeau, which was ruched on the sides and a ruched skirt, black and leopard print. Zara have something very, very similar, I've heard, because I don't really shop in Zara that much. But if you're looking for something like that, get yourself down there. 
I found a striped trouser. So if you were here for my Boohoo haul, I picked myself up a striped trouser, but the material just didn't work and the sizing just wasn't, wasn't what I needed it to be. So don't worry about that because we found a linen pair in Tesco. Again, I got these in a 16. We've got wide hips over here. We had wide hips before, we've got wide hips now. So I'd rather they were bigger. I don't even know if they're gonna be that big actually. We'll see. I don't know, because there's not that much stretching linen. We do have pockets, which we love. We have a drawstring. And then again, these just go down into a straight leg. I'm hoping these are gonna be a good length on me again to wear under the bump. Because I'm so tall and I'm used to wearing things high-waisted, a lot of places don't fit my leg length. But because I'm now wearing things a lot lower, fingers crossed, they're actually sitting in the right position. Is this drawstring real? Drawstring is real. 18 pounds they also had these in like black and cream and did they have a green color as well but the stripe is very much the pajama vibe in isn't it that with a little white cami sandals or trainers hopefully they fit fingers crossed guys i can't lie to you it's really sad times um i've just had to roll my top up obviously so you can see but uh I just need you to understand why are these so small? Like I know I'm bigger on my bottom half, but Jesus. Um, like they don't feel tight here. It's just I've got a chunky leg. They're not sitting on the hip properly. Obviously, I presume they are meant to be worn more like that, but people are liking a low waist moment. So come on, they're so like on the leg. There's absolutely no space at the back. These are a 16, so I'd have to go up to an 18, which I've got no problem with sizing. Like, I'll get an 18. Why are they still that short on me even though I'm wearing them all the way down there? That's what we need to know. This is really, really sad because I really wanted these to be good, but I literally can't even, can't move. They're like skinny jeans, practically ankle swinging skinny jeans that's really sad cheers thanks a lot tasco really uh ruining self-esteem there no just kidding but baby girls looking cute the trousers are not then wow this guy's riveting content pick myself up some full briefs if you know you know if you've had kids um i am going to be packing the hospital bag soon and we need some big knickers. So there is five pairs in there for 650, which I didn't think you could go wrong with at all. All black. I've been trying to find like all black ones. Why everywhere I go are they sold out in my size and they want to give me white and nude? Do I look like I need to be wearing white and nude underwear after I've just birthed a child? Not really, unless I'm actually going somewhere that requires it. Every day, dark underwear. So yeah, not that interesting. And then, I'd like I said, I did just pick up two bits for baby girl. If you're not interested in kids stuff, I completely understand. Click off this video now. But I thought it was very cute, so let's go. One thing I picked up in the sale, excuse me, excuse me, um, were these tops, which I thought were very, very cute. They are a bit big for her now, obviously. She's not even born yet, and these are six to nine. But they were in the sale, and I thought by the time she gets to that age, these are gonna be perfect. So there's just like a little dusky pink one. We've got a white, creamy white, spotty one, and then the back is just gray. Then with a pair of leggings or like dungarees or something, so cute. And they were originally nine pound and then on sale for 450. So I just thought, look, that time's gonna come around real quick. And basics like that, you just can't go wrong with. And then look at this guys, I'm, all, I'm obsessed. I always thought I'm like, I'm not a very girly person. So I thought I would struggle with um, like dressing a girl, like girly. But I have found since finding out that I am having a girl, I have swayed a little bit to some girly stuff. So it's gonna be different for you guys that have been watching me for a while and know that I'm not really into that kind of stuff. This isn't that girly, this is pretty tame to be fair. This I got in up to three months. <laughs> I feel like crying, it's so cute how cute oh it's making me cry because like i can just imagine a child in there and it's not just our child it's gonna be my child 
so cute so it's just got a black vest underneath and then it's got this little dress that's just got this pattern i don't really know what kind of pattern that is but it's a pattern and it's very very cute and look how tiny that is because she is going to be a summer baby so i'm hoping she'll get to wear this at some point in her life uh once she's born but even you can put tights on with that if it wasn't quite warm enough but i just thought that was so sweet it was 12 pound they also had a super super cute like black romper but i don't want to i'm trying not to buy too too much because i don't know how big she's going to be when she's born um obviously nobody does but with diabetes and stuff it can act different so if you want to listen to all that kind of stuff then i'll talk about it more in like vlog videos because we're not here for that but i just thought that was super super cute i'm obsessed okay so I'm a bit out of breath and we are looking a bit more dishevelled than we were earlier after trying those things on. Um, dresses for the win. And you guys know I'm not really a dressed kind of girl, but it makes the most sense in pregnancy, like quite honestly. And I can still like style that up the same way I would if I was not pregnant, you know, make it a little less girly and a bit more like street style. Really, really happy with those dresses, especially that black one. Like I definitely want to see if they've got the strappy version in a different Tesco. Trousers. We need to have words, me and Tesco. Um, trousers are a nightmare for me in general just because of my like length and then my proportions. Obviously I've got really big hips and thighs and then I'm super tall as well. So if it fits one way, it usually doesn't fit the other way. So it's a shame, but the problem is now, supermarkets are getting rid of their changing rooms. And I'm just not really sure why because I would love to go in now and just try the 18 of them trousers just to see is that going to work for me? But now I've got to buy them again, bring them home, try them on. And it's just like, why on earth would you get rid of the changing rooms? I'm just not in understanding. So I think we need to get a petition going saying bring back the changing rooms because what's, what's that about? Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please do give a big thumbs up. Subscribe down there if you're not already. And get yourself to Tesco to find some bargains. And I'll see you next time for more videos. Bye, guys.